Okay, so in this video, we're going to wrap up with the last concept in API SecOps, which is documentation. And in order to do that, we actually need to understand what uh, it's Service Hub and Dev Portal and Connect provide us here on the left. So the Dev Portal is intended is um, it's intended for developers or API consumers to find access or and test our APIs. So from the Dev Portal, taking on the persona of a developer, I should be able to search for API documentation and then when I find it, test it out right then and there. So in order to publish an API to the Dev Portal, we actually have to have a service uh, created in Service Hub. So Service Hub allows us to catalog all of our services as in a single system of record. And it's intended to provide a way to track any changes to the implementation of the service and track those implement uh, track those changes over its lifetime. So you can see in, in this context, like really briefly on the tab, that we have a, a service called Disputes and it actually has a version associated to it. So if we're gonna open up Service Hub and take a look at the service versions, what's really interesting is you can see right off the bat that um, it's associated to a specific runtime group. It has a type and a status. So if we open up that service version, we can see even we can see more details about the back end. So we, we know the uh, upstream URL. We have the route information. If there was a uh, service level plugin, we would have also seen it here. So we can basically see that the service version is tied to a specific configure, uh, configuration. And in, and in part of that configuration is also the API spec, so the associated documentation so right here on the right you can see a spot where we can upload the open api spec associated to this version okay so this is this is basically the entry point into getting our documentation into developer portal so uh what the question is what api doc uh, spec should we upload here and during the last pipeline we execute the third pipeline let me go ahead and navigate down to that step. Here we go. In this third pipeline, where we published the API spec to the dev runtime group, there was actually a step in the pipeline to prep the API spec for the dev portal because there was certain information we needed to scrub and we also needed to correct what the server was. So there's a couple of activities, tasks that happened um, in this step here. And then that this API spec got version controlled on the dev branch. So, which means if we go over to the Git repository in Git and navigate to uh, API Ops Gateway repo, we're gonna go to the dev branch, navigate down into API disputes directory, navigate one more time down into the dev portal, and we see this API spec here. Um, so here, you know, we've got the uh, the server is the URL to our gateway because the dev portal is going to actually hit our gateway and the gateway is going to route it to the back end. And so this is the API spec we want to go ahead and download. So just download that file. And now we'll go back to Service Hub and we can just drag and drop it in to upload it. Now that it's uploaded, we should be able to access it from dev portal. So go to dev portal. And you want to select the connect uh, portal URL, so hit that link. And I have my dev portal publicly facing, uh, just so so it doesn't require any credentials to log in. You may have to set up credential login. Well, we're going to skip that for now and assume it's public facing. So I can go ahead and select this service. So this is a this is a catal disputes catalog. And we can see that this is the API spec that we indeed just uploaded. Um, we can also test it out from this. Uh, now that we're here, we can just go ahead and test it out. So the first thing we need to do is to authorize. And remember, this is, if we look at the list of servers, this is our dev run, it's pointing at our dev runtime group. So we know that there's a key on that. So there's an API key. So we're gonna go ahead and type in the API key, the values connect and authorize, close that. And then I'm just gonna execute this first test or this first API and see what happens. So when I execute, I did get a type error fail to fetch. 
And the reason is that we have, from the browser's perspective, we have to, we have to trust this request URL because it's not on HTTPS. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this request URL, open up a new tab in my browser, paste that in, but swap this to HTTPS. And you should get your connection is not private. That's good. You want to go ahead and advance that and then proceed to trust it. And then you should you should hit a Kong error, no API key found in the request. So once you've hit that, uh, that's what that's the expectation. So close that tab and navigate back to the dev portal and re-execute the request. And you should see a 200. Cool, that's and that's exactly actually what we saw in Insomnia. So just as a sanity check, we'll execute the second request as well. Just as a reminder from Insomnia, it in fact gave us a 404 as well, which is, so that is the expectation. And that's it for this video. So we covered how to get our documentation up in Dev Portal uh, via Connect and Service Hub. I will see you all later.